Good morning, Taipei. We are going out of the hotel. And we are out in Taipei. This is our first day here. Yeah, it's a bit late because we arrived here in uh, Taipei late night. That's the hotel there behind us. And we're gonna go and visit some places now. But first we need to reach the metro line. That's like uh, 500 meters. Did you also do it? You tapped your card? So we have to tap it again afterwards. Like that? Oh, okay. Because they say that if you will not tap it, it will be blocked. Oh, you're such an expert in the metro in Taipei, no, huh? I just saw it there in the bus. Okay. Going up now to the memorial park. Okay, only on the right side, I call. Like that? Oh, look at that. Everybody's on one side only. <laughs> Hi, look at this hand. This is the one. Here at the Chiang Kai Shek Memorial Hall here in Taipei, Taiwan. When we arrived here, we saw a lot of people doing activities. There's performances, and then over there, there's all the practices, and over the opposite side, there are like cheerleading practices. That's the flag of Taiwan. what they did at their pine trees. They groom it. It looks so strange but beautiful. Yeah, yes. It's springtime. Check out the blossom. We are now at the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Park. It is just next to the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. And the park itself is so amazing. I don't know how they manicured all of these greeneries, all of these trees, all of these plants. And the pond, the fish pond, is so great. It has big fishes. And it's just so nice. In the middle of the city, there is this very beautiful park. We are on our way to the Peace Park and 
then we're gonna go grab something to eat. Yes, I'm looking forward for the food. Just past the presidential palace, they had some kind of guard change with music. If you wanted to watch that guard uh, change, you have to be there all the time, every day. They do that every day. You? We're here now at the Peace Park and we're gonna be exploring this one right now. We are at the center of the Peace Park and uh, we are enjoying the sound of the flute. Somebody's playing the flute. This makes this park more peaceful. now leaving the peace park it was a peaceful moment here <laughs> with, <Don't laugh. laughs> with more of laughing <laughs> because everybody is like trying to sniff one one tree <laughs> that is uh, blossom the one and only tree which is blossom in this park ah, look at this bird yeah they have different creatures here different types of birds She's not moving. We are now on our way to have dinner. I stopped by one place to buy bubble milk tea. And I'm having the bubble milk tea. Tastes like black tea, but it has small bubbles. A tapioca. Like it? It's nice. It's time for me to try this bubble milk tea. like a normal milk tea but the good thing about it is that they are very generous in the amount of the pearls yeah i believe that's tapioca this is nice as well to try on it's just in the streets of Taipei. enjoying the walk with bubble tea found the market while we were walking in the sidewalks and this is what you will see Finally found a place where you are going to eat dinner. It is called Jen Kung Beef Noodle. The food came, we got the dishes here. We got the beef, beef noodle soup. We got the thick noodles and tea noodles. So we're gonna try the beef noodles. And I'm I'm struggling with the sticks. The beef is very nice. Mm, it's very tasty. The beef is very soft, soft and tender. I move now to the tin noodles. I can easily get them. I think we need that spice there. That's the one that gives good. It's very nice. It's different than the one we had there in the Hong Kong. I think I'm more easy to go with this tin noodles. But that's very tasty. It's my turn to taste my noodles, which has a thin noodles, thin beef noodles. We'll just try it first without any, without any condiments. I will try the soup first. The rice is quite tasty. I taste sesame oil and the beef itself. I can taste it. Now I will be trying the beef. So let's see. Mm. I didn't bite it yet, and it's just it's just ah. break down into two pieces. What's it like? I find that the beef is a bit soft. Wow. I can see that there are like spring onions here as well. I'm trying the little part. The noodles are fresh. Now, 
what I like with this is put some chili because I like spice. So I'm putting a little bit of chili. Okay. I think these are chili. This is what you call chili. Can you also put vinegar? I'll be mixing it. Oh, it's much tastier. Yeah. I think these are like sake and berlin. Sake, you're supposed to put vinegar. Yeah. Then we'll just try to put this. I don't know what this one, but I'm gonna try what this is. I don't know what this one is, but I just put it. <laughs> now let me just try it. Uh, added a little bit of sourness, but definitely having it with the chili is way way better. When you add chili with it, the taste comes out more. Finish the noodles. I am sprinkled everywhere with soup on my beer and my t-shirt. I like the noodles. It was very nice. Price point was 110 local currency for uh, the biggest bowl per bowl. I think this is the cheapest Michelin star restaurant I've eaten in so far. We are now on the way to Ningxia Night Market. Ningxia Night Market. So it's like a market in the street. It's full of stalls for food and they close down the street and they are having like food stalls in the middle of the street we stop at one uh, restaurant here chinese and we got something which looks like grilled dumpling and i'm gonna try this one out i hope it tastes good because it comes in 10 pieces and if it doesn't taste good i don't know what i'm gonna do with it i'm gonna dip it in this sauce that cherry prepared here this is like soya sauce I think it's how it is uh, ground pork. This is a dumpling inside, and there's a sauce over there for a little fry. Now we just keep it here. Okay, and this dumpling has a crunch to it. Not like other dumplings, it's either fried, which gives you the crunch, but this one is not fried. It was just grilled, so I don't know how it become crunchy. It is not fried, but it's so oily. But maybe that's the reason why it's tasty because it's because of the oil. This is mango snowflakes ice with panna cotta. Basically, Taiwanese ice cream or the halo halo of uh, Taiwan. It's mango with ice and pudding on top. Shaved ice. And it's very cold. And sweet but um, after those dumplings grilled dumplings this is very good it's changing off the taste in the mouth I'm gonna be starting off with the pineapple so it's like a jelly like substance and it's color white and it's sweet it's like a gelatin the consistency of it is like the taho, taho of the Philippines, but it's hot, but this one is cold. Now I'm gonna move on forward to the shaved ice itself, and it has a syrup, most probably the syrup that they put here is a mango syrup, so I will try it right now. The syrup has a mixture of taste, it is sour and sweet at the same time. So it's contrasting the flavor. The snowflakes is really like a snowflakes. It doesn't have a bite to it. It's like it melts in your mouth. The main ingredient of this um, snowflake, which is the mango, I'll try it right now. It tastes like mango, but it's not similar to the mangoes of the Philippines, the yellow mango of the Philippines, which is very sweet. This is somehow similar to the mangoes of Thailand. Now what we like to do is to mix it all together and give it a bite. We're gonna get the panakota, shaved ice, and one mango over here, and eat it all at once. 
it's quite nice. If you mix it all together, even if I'm a fan of green mango, actually, I will say that it is quite nice to try this one. And if you're a fan of a yellow mango, it's a must. We stopped by uh, another stall and we got the Taiwanese traditional cake. I think it has some cheese inside, raisins, and it looks like cake. Oh, very nice. I think it has some jam filling. I feel it has also cheese. Cheese and egg. It's sweet. Yeah, it's very nice. I like it. It's my time to try this traditional Chinese cake. Looks like it's fluffy and moist and sticky as well. And it has raisins on top. So let me just have a first bite. Actually, it's quite nice. The texture of it is so soft and it can even melt in your mouth. It reminds me of um, somehow similar to the consistency of the mamon in the Philippines, especially the Goldilocks one. It's not like 100%, but somehow similar to it, just the consistency of it. But this is more sweeter and has raisins and all of those stuff. It can be your perfect dessert after a meal. It is a must try whenever you are in Ninja Night Market. We hope you enjoy watching this video. Remember to share it, give us a like and comment below. And if you love watching our videos, kindly click that subscribe button above. Thanks and see you on the next one.